Hi, my friends. Welcome back. We're going to learn all about autumn today. Autumn, or you might call it fall. Fall or autumn. I'm so excited. Are you ready to make some autumn or fall art with me? If you are, thumbs up. I'm so excited. This is one of my very favorite seasons because I love pumpkins. I especially love to grow pumpkins because they make me really happy. All right, let's take a look at some autumn words. Do you know any words for autumn or fall? <gasps> Those are great ideas. So there's cozy, because we like to be cozy when it gets a little cold outside. There are apples. Apples at apple orchards are often ready to be harvested in the fall or autumn. There's my favorite word, and that's pumpkin. Pumpkins are ripe and ready to harvest in autumn. And because all the food in the fields, all the crops are all ready to be harvested, we have to put out scarecrows in the autumn to chase away the birds who are looking for some good food too. And there's a lot of squirrels in autumn because they're going around and collecting acorns and other things that they're going to hide so they have food over the winter. Autumn is really cool. I know, let's pretend to be a squirrel looking for nuts. Let's go. Did you pretend to be a squirrel too? Good job. All right, let's do our warm up. Wave them around, up so high. Hands down low, touch your toes. Wiggle and giggle, see how it goes. Hands to the side. Now let's clap. Clap and smile in a snap. Hands up front, then back in. Ready to learn, let's begin. Grab our pointing finger and we're going to point to the apple as we count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more. Nine. Nine apples. Take a look at different types of apples. Yeah, there's lots of different types. And they all have different flavors. It's a great idea to try different types of apples so that way you can find the apples that you like best. Some are sweet and some are tart, almost kind of like bitter. And they're all used for different purposes. Sometimes we eat apples raw, which I love biting into a lovely apple, or you can cut it into slices. Maybe you like applesauce, or apple pie, or apples in your cereal. There are lots of different ways to enjoy apples. Some people even drink apple juice or apple cider. Some apples are Granny Smith, Gala, there are Honeycrisp apples, and there are Fuji apples, but there's lots of different types of apples. So next time you're at the grocery store, go down the aisle that has lots of apples and take a look at all the different apples and look at the different colors and maybe you want to try a new apple. Now, 
let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to write and draw a scarecrow and then we're going to make some squirrel art. All right, let's draw a scarecrow for autumn. Scarecrow for autumn. Let's draw scarecrow's hat line across and two little lines down. We'll connect it with the bottom and a big square on the top. Light zigzag lines below for a scarecrow's straw hair. Let's add diagonal lines one way on the hat for weaving of a straw, and diagonal lines the other way to make a pattern and texture so it looks like it was woven. Let's draw a big letter U below for the face, the zigzag lines below for the straw coming out. Let's draw an oval for the nose and a big smiley. And on either side, we're going to add eyes. And I like to color them in, leaving just a little bit of white. And then you can color in Scarecrow, leaving just... Actually, no, just color it in. Yeah, color in Scarecrow using your favorite art mediums and colors. You get to pick anything you want for your own artwork and that's what is so fun about making art. Just like that, your scarecrow is done. All right, let's make our squirrel. Let's grab our black wax crayon. Wax crayon. Let's draw a half circle or a letter C. We'll see for the ears. We'll draw a line down for a squirrel's back. And a curvy line in the front for the belly. Add a bushy tail with set a zigzag lines up and around and connect. So cute. Let's add little feet, one on the bottom, one on the belly. We can add a little smiley, a nose, 
and an eye. Smiley nose eye. Smiley mouth nose eye on our super cute squirrel. Let's add lines on the body for some fur texture. Then let's add big lines on the tail. Big lines on the tail. So cute. Next we'll paint the body with some paint. I want to dip my brush in water and dip it in the brown. I'm going to paint my squirrel's body brown. bit of pink. I'm going to add pink to the nose and the ear. Now let's do some finger painting in the background. So I'm going to grab a choice color. Let's add some zigzags around. Ooh, isn't that fun? You can feel the paint. So squishy. I'm gonna grab a blue, but you can grab whatever color you want. I'm gonna add it in the other areas. And just like that, your squirrel is... Hi, my friend. Thank you so much for learning with me today. I am so glad that you joined me. You made my heart full. I hope to see you in our next learning adventure together. Parents and teachers, for more art ideas for kids, 
visit artastickids.com or for teachers, you can go and find art lesson plans at the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT. Links below and in the description of the video. See you next time.